I'm cautiously optimistic as to how this whole Ant-Man thing will do and how they're going to represent Kang because if they just add the comedy and the jokes. So here's my thing, man. Are you going to make this serious or not a joke? I'll be real with you. Ever since Endgame, Marvel had just not, not hit. I feel me. I think Endgame was such a high point. Marvel will not be been hitting. Let's keep things a stack, guys. Let's let's not bull crap around. I'm nobody's a bigger Spider-Man film than me. No Way Home was not a very good film. It wasn't a very good Spider-Man film. It was just a gimmick. The gimmick being, oh, let's have all three Spider-Men together. As a Spider-Man film in and of itself, it wasn't a very good Spider-Man film. How, the best thing since Endgame was probably um, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And that wasn't great itself, but that was probably the best thing. And maybe the end scene of Kang with what Jonathan Majors did. And I think because I was watching some videos, I think it was Double Toasted who were doing a video on this. The mistake is, why was that phase one, phase two so strong? Everything was leading towards something. So everything, it, there was, there was an, an end goal. It's like, okay, Thanos, where's Thanos, where's Thanos? And you just saw little bit, bits of seeds of Thanos getting put into each film. So I think once you now have Kang represented here, I'm like, okay, boom. We're now back to what this should be about, which is, okay, who is the next big bad? And what is now every film, every TV episode, what's, what's now every installment of MCU going to be leading towards? Because that's what made it interesting. Like, oh, wow. Everything is interconnected and everything is leading to an end goal, which is you fighting this big bad. We all know the crap that happened with Thor, Love and Thor and Thunder, which was, I think everybody agrees that that's this, the worst MCU film. Some of the scenes I've, because I refuse to watch that whole film. Some of the scenes I've seen are some of the most disgraceful scenes I've ever seen put in a comic book movie. More disgraceful than Batman and Robin. So, as I'm, and here's the thing. I've, I liked Hansman. Hansman was one of those things that I liked because, man, because I know Paul Rudd from way back in the day, from the days of Clueless, because my sister was obsessed with Clueless. So, I remember him from 95, Clueless, with um, Alicia Silverstone and Stacey Dash. Um, so... And he's got very good comedic timing. So, so I was like, okay, this looks cool, you know? And I think he he like he really he, he brings that kind of old school comedy to Ant-Man, which is what makes it cool. Is this now gonna be comedic? So you're seeing what Jonathan Majors is doing, you're seeing that he's being very intense and bring a lot of intensity into it. And also it's a very good actor, because I don't know what he was, I think it's the, the last black man in San Francisco. Quality film that that he that he was in, and obviously the um um oh gosh the 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 western he was in with Regina King and Idris Elba, so he's he's really good, and obviously he's going to be in Creed three. But my thing that is MCU now going to lean towards oh let's just bring some comedy, let's just bring some comedy, let's just add some levity to it, or is it going to be like okay, Ansman has had his comedy stuff, this is now where things get real. And they're going to be real stakes and real consequences. Because that's the real thing. You have to have stakes and consequences. And the thing with the MCs, you never really have those stakes or consequences. So that's all I want to know is that. Because if it's real, things get real. There are real consequences. And this is a much more serious thing. And this really sets the stage of, okay, this Kang guy is now a real problem. Because as he said in our Loki episode, is that, bro... There are other versions of me that are a lot crazy and a lot more dangerous than than what I am. So let's how serious it's going to be. And I believe that this guy may be because if this guy is dealing with the quantum realm and there are several versions of himself, and this guy because the whole point of you going through with this MC thing is the more villains you go through, the tougher they become. So we thought Thanos was big time. This has to be the next level. Okay, because the boss has to get harder and harder the further that you go on, like a video game. So let's just see how this goes. So for me, I want to know whether MCU, Kevin Feige, are going to make this Ant-Man thing, whether this is going to get serious. Because I expect Wakanda Forever to be a lot more serious. Very emotional, very heavy, but I expect it to be a lot more serious than that piece of garbage trash, useless thing, that dumbass piece of crap loser, Taika Waititi, who... Bro, the kinds of things, what's, what's that dumbass idiot, Saika Watiti, and that loser Chris Hemsworth have done with Thor? Freaking Thor! Do you know who Thor is? 
the whole Thor is not a joke, bro. Crazy. But let's see what they do because yeah, my, I am I'm cautiously optimistic as to how this whole Ant-Man thing will do and how they're gonna represent Kang because if they just add the comedy and the jokes, I'm out, yo.